Aaron Yeager has finally activated the rumbling, and I'm sure some of you may actually be confused about what it is. What's the scope of the rumbling? Who created the walls? Why is the rumbling being used in the first place? Well, I am here to answer those questions along with a brief history lesson on the origins of the rumbling and how it came to be. So with that out of the way, this is why the rumbling is so important. As always, it's important to lay the groundwork. So what is the rumbling? That in of itself requires a bit of a history lesson on one of Attack on Titan's most important and historic wars, the Great Titan War. During the reign of Karl Fritz, there was constant infighting between the houses of the Eldian Empire. These houses vary, but the only currently known house is the Tibers, which houses the Warhammer Titan. These houses would fight between one another, constantly vying for the control of all nine Titans, though one day, this all changed. Fritz, feeling that Eldia had spent too much time warring with Marley and oppressing other people, grew tired of this constant war and decided on a plan to end the constant strife and conflict. They would work with the Tiber family to create a story that would lead to the eventual downfall of Eldia. Knowing full well what he was doing, he simply wanted peace in his final years for himself and for his people, knowing that eventually Marley would come for him or his ancestors. For King Fritz, there was only one decision he could make that would bring peace to Eldia and stop Marley from capturing the founding titan for the time being. Using millions of colossal titans, Karl Fritz would construct three walls, Wall Rose, Wall Sheena, and Wall Maria to sell off Eldia from the rest of the world, closing the gates and never looking back, surrounded on the outside by countless titans. King Fritz would then go on to use the power of the founding once again, this time to erase the memories of Eldians so that they would never know the conflict and history that Eldia had created. Karl Fritz could now live out the rest of his life and ensure that his people would never have to bear the burdens that he and his ancestors had. To him, they were now free. The people inside these newly constructed walls believed that they were simply the last of the human race, forced into these walls which were believed to be a man-made creation. Though the rest of the world remembered, and as the years went on, Marley would still heavily scrutinize Eldia for their past actions. This would result in those Eldians left on Marley and around the world being put into internment zones despite them not knowing what they did. Due to King Fritz erasing the memories of Eldians, this would ultimately lead to a rewrite of history. But there was another piece to this puzzle, the vow renouncing war. Karl Fritz, to make sure the founding titan would not be used by anyone next in line against their enemies again, would create the vow to renounce war. This vow meant that anyone of royal blood, more specifically, the Fritz royal bloodline, could not use the power of the founding titan to wage war ever again. The end goal of this vow was to ensure the ultimate destruction of Eldia and all of its people when Marley would come to take the founding titan. The vow was successful, but nobody could ever have guessed what would happen next. Grisha Jaeger would seek out the King of the Walls, Frida Reese, to make a plea. It was simple. Save the people inside the Walls of Humanity. Unsurprisingly though, Frida Rees, still brainwashed by the vow renouncing war, believes that this is unavoidable and should happen as a form of repentance against their past actions. Grisha, having no other option wanting to save his family, sees the future versions of Eren and Zeke. Eren tells him to tatake, to fight, and keep moving forward. Grisha has now seen that his son, Aaron Jaeger, will succeed in getting what he wants, and thus, without an option, consumes Frida, becoming the founding and attack titans. This in turn breaks the chain of Fritz's descendants and the vow renouncing war, letting Aaron Jaeger and Grisha Jaeger act freely upon their desires as while well being Eldian, weren't related to King Fritz or his bloodline. So, 
Why is the rumbling such a threat? If activated, the dwelling colossal titans within the walls of Paradise Island will be set free. This in of itself is dangerous enough, but this action actually isn't technically the rumbling. It's when the colossal titans are sent to stomp out all life is when the rumbling is truly activated. But to activate the rumbling, it would require someone of royal blood to activate it using the powers of the founding titan. So when Eren finally makes contact with Zeke, it turns out that those with royal blood can only control Ymir to do their bidding. Knowing this, Zeke orders Ymir to euthanize all Eldians. Eren not having that ability makes a desperate attempt to stop Ymir. This is where we figure out that Eren realizes the power of the Founding Titan is solely dependent not on the will of just members with royal blood, but more specifically, the will of Ymir. This is one of Attack on Titan's most important moments, maybe the most important moments, as Eren lets Ymir decide what she wants to do, not what others demand of her. For the first time in Ymir's life, she is set free and given the choice to do what she wants. In turn, she decides to enact revenge by activating the rumbling along with Eren to destroy those who threaten the peace of Eren's family and friends. The reason the rumbling is so important is that for years it was used as a determent to war. In many ways, it's like the nations of today that still build nuclear weapons not because they are ever going to use them, but because they may use them. That being said, this power that was never meant to be used, even by King Fritz, has now been activated. And by the hero of our story to potentially eliminate everyone outside of Paradis. For some reason, Eren has decided the best strategy is to commit genocide on a global scale of every person outside of Paradis Island. If you're keeping up with your history, that makes him literally worse than Hitler if he is ever able to pull it off. So just why would Eren do such a thing? Is it the power that comes with ruling the world? Does he hate everyone outside of Paradis? I mean, if we remember correctly in the episode Declaration of War, Eren states to Reiner that the people of Marley are no different from the people of Paradis. So what's his goal in all of this? The rumbling is important because of what it represents. Total destruction. While it surely was meant to protect the people of Paradis, its true use was always for death and war. Think back to First King Fritz who would use these titans to wage it against Marley and his enemies and the generations after which would continue such trends. The walls which protected Paradis were never a shield, they were always a sword. This is a weapon that not even Marley's anti-titan weaponry can stop, a threat so powerful and looming that once activated, no soul can ever hope to escape it. The rumbling is death, destruction, and all of that which may apply. This is why the rumbling is so important. It's the end. 